For learning task 2, determine the common ratio and the next three terms of the following geometric sequence. Write your answer on the space provided. Item number 1 is done for you. So, ibibigay kong example itong item number 1 kung paano nakuha. Okay. So, learning task 2, letter A. So, we have the geometric sequence 4, 8, 16. So, lahat ng given doon sa learning task, lahat yon ay geometric sequence. Ang gagawin nyo lang, kukuhanin nyo kung ano yung common ratio. And then, after determining the common ratio, kukunin nyo yung next three terms. So, for number 1, we have 4, 8, 16, and so on. So, to get the common ratio, ano nga ang gagawin uli? Yes, correct. We divide the next term from the previous term. So, this one, R, is equal to 8 divided by 4, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. No need to, to divide 16 and 8, kasi we already know that this is a geometric sequence. So, alam na natin na meron siyang common ratio. So, the common ratio is 2. Okay, not necessarily na laging second and first term ang pwedeng i-divide. Pwede nyo ring i-divide yung, yung third and second term. As long as consecutive siya. Pag sinabing consecutive, magkatabi. Okay? So, 8 divided by 4 is 2. Pwede ring 16 divided by 8 is also 2. So, the common ratio is 2. Now, how do we get the next three terms? So, ito yung kailangan nating kuhanin. The next three terms of 4, 8, and 16. So, the last term that is given is 16. So, ang gagawin natin sa 16, from the definition of the geometric sequence, geometric sequence is a sequence where the next term is obtained by multiplying a common ratio. So, yung common ratio na nakuha natin, multiply natin dito sa 16. So, that will be 16 times 2. And 16 times 2 is 32. And then, to get the next term after 32, ganun na lang gagawin natin. Multiply 32 by 2. 32 divided by 2 is 64. So, this is 64. And then, 64 times 2 is equal to 128. So, this is 128. So, yung sagot natin doon sa number 1, Letter A, number 1, the common ratio is 2, and then the next three terms are 32, 64, and 128. So, kapag sinagotan nyo itong table, you have to complete the table, and also you have to show your solution. So, ang solution ganito, get the common ratio, and then multiply the common ratio from the previous term to get the next term. So, pag walang solution, walang check. So, ganun yung gagawin nyo doon sa learning task number 2.